I'm Elaine Harding. Welcome to my blog at stampwithelaine.com. Today's card is going back to basics. Um, I wanted to make a clean and simple card with the Country Bouquets stamp set and punch. The Country Bouquets stamp set and punch is part of the Country Floral Lane suite, which you'll find on pages 8 to 10 in the January to April 2023 mini catalogue. This is the Country Floral 12 by 12 inch designer series paper. That's the front and that's the reverse. On this sheet of pattern paper, the punch will actually punch out the two hearts and the pair of leaves. We're going to be using the bicycle pattern sheet to make this card. Now this is the card we're making. It's tone on tone, so it's simply basic white, thick cardstock with a basic white layer for both the front and the inside of the card so the measurements are the same. To create this card I've simply used the designer's series paper. I cut it, the strip and cut the hearts here to create this border and just the bicycles on their own and I fussy cut them, the bicycle. So of course you can make the card in different colours, um, balmy blue to go with the balmy blue bicycle, so you stamp the heart in balmy blue. This one was petal pink so I've made it in petal pink. So I'll need balmy blue ink, um, the neutral stamp and write markers, I've used mossy meadow which is one of the colours that coordinates with the paper. Um, my card base is half an A4 sheet and in Europe this measures <coughs> eight and a quarter inches by five and seven eighth inches. Uh, so in metric that will be 21 centimetres by 14.5 centimetres. And then for the front and the inside I have two basic white pieces which is three and three quarters by five and a half. And in metric that's 9.5 by 14 centimeters. I'll need some basic white cardstock to stamp with. Also some elegant trim which is this silver cord. It comes with a spool of gold and a spool of silver and I'm using the silver. So there's my designer series paper that I cut a strip off. Now I'm going to fussy cut the bicycle. Keep the scissors still but move the paper. So I'm going to cut round the bicycle. Reinforce my score line. Put dimensionals on the back of the bicycle. Attach one end of the cord with a glue dot. Peel that off switch it around and attach another glue dot on top of that one and then put it on the back basket of bicycle like so and attach it to one of the basic white layers Toward the bottom of the card, stick the bicycle on top. Take the stamp and write marker in Mossy Meadow. Now you notice that there's a thin line at one end and a thick line at the other, and that indicates which is the journaling end and which is the brush end. You also have a reference on the pen itself where it will show a picture of the brush and a bullet tip which is the journaling end. 
I'm going to just draw freehand some grass to ground the bicycle. Can you see that? Then on the second piece of basic white, I'm just going to put a bit of adhesive on there and run it along here and a bit on this end to anchor it. And then I shall put this, butt it up towards the bottom with say about half an inch tolerance at the bottom and then snip it off. And hey presto, the inside of your card is done. Oops. Add some tape. I think I'm running out of tape. And if you put broken pieces like that, rather than run it all the way down the cardstock, A, it saves you tape, and also it means that if you have put it on crooked, you can lift it up easily and reposition it because it's not stuck all the way down. So leave an even border all round and then glue it to the inside. Oh bother, did I forget to record it? Mm. Yes, well, I've punched it out now. I think I've been rather generous with my cord. So I'm going to take a bit off and let it fall naturally, find the end, I've taken a glue dot and I've rolled it so that it is fairly narrow and attach it to the back of the cord and press it down to try and anchor it. Grab another glue dot and a dimensional pop some more dimensionals on there Remove the backing and then I want the, uh, the tip to marry up with the uh, cord going through. Pop a dimensional on this smaller heart. And pop it there stamp for you or wherever I find a space so I think I'll do it here up here this time I'm going to use Tombow to glue it to the front of the card and then last of all to the inside ink up this pair of hearts and there's the card completed so for a beginner this is really quick and easy and then of course um, you can do it with I think that's mint macaron so you can do it with a mint macaron one as well so I hope you've enjoyed today's uh, tutorial it's all quick and easy and I'll be back with more inspiration next time. Thanks for joining me today. As usual, you'll find all the links to the supplies below this video in the show more section. You can also find me on Facebook, Pinterest or Instagram. And if you'd like to read more, then do hop over to my blog. There'll be more details uh, and the link is also below. Thanks for watching. Bye.